friends. Today, let's look at a way to make Google Slides more user-friendly for interactive exercises by adding a background image. We have probably all used Google Slides as a collaborative document or template when we want students to add or contribute to the slide, but we have something that we want to remain stationary and unedited. Well, a great solution for that is to add an image or a diagram as the background. For an example, let's use this Freyer Model Graphic Organizer template. It has text, images, and colored rectangles to guide students. Yet, users could move any of those items around to different locations on the slide and distort the intent of the exercise. Now, we could highlight all the items and use Arrange and Group but that would still mean that the user could inadvertently move things around. A better option is to convert this to an image and set the image as a background. To create an image, just select File, Download, and choose JPEG or PNG image. If we want the background to be transparent, we would choose PNG. We might also be asked where we want to save the image and can choose whatever is most convenient with options like Desktop, the hard drive of our computer, and Google Drive. Next, on a blank slide, we can choose background and a pop-up will appear. Select Choose Image. There will be several options on the next screen, so we can navigate to wherever we have saved that image and select it. Since we have just downloaded an image, there might be a little download indicator at the bottom of our screen. We can click and drag that up into the upload space provided. The image will immediately begin to upload. Just wait for the upload to complete. Then we will see the image added to the background of our slide and the pop-up where we can select Done. Wow! The image is now the background of our slide. To add text or images in the space provided, we can just layer that onto the space indicated by the background image. In this case, since we've created a template, we can add text boxes with phrases such as Enter Info Here to make it a little more user-friendly and to provide clear instructions. Now we have a clean, user-friendly, interactive template. This template can now be duplicated for use with several vocabulary words. To do so, go over to the thumbnail and select it. Next, tap the Ctrl and C key simultaneously to copy. Then, tap the Ctrl and B key simultaneously to paste. Again, once the background image is decided, download the slide as an image. On a blank slide, select Background and choose the Image. Select or drag the image to the Upload space and select Done. Add text boxes for instruction or to provide students interactive options. Well, that's a wrap for WCS EdTech Top Tip, Google Slides Add Image as a Background.